And you write in your book about how you never want to know the finishes to matches too. No, I like to sit there and enjoy it as a fan and be on the edge of my seat. And are you going to say the winner is this guy or the winner is this guy? You don't know because mm. you don't. So it's truly special. I mean, think back to like the uh, Undertaker Brock Lesnar match when Brock ended the streak. I didn't know the outcome. So when I made the announcement, it was, it was a real announcement, you know? I was there. I was, I was there in New Orleans and we all just kind of stared at each other like we didn't know. Yeah. Was that supposed to happen? Yeah. Like, was that a mistake? Because there was a big pause before you made the yeah, announcement Yeah, it was about too. a minute pause, which wasn't normal. It's usually the bell and then the announcement. Yeah. And the bell rang and my stomach dropped. And I just, I looked at him like, is this a mistake? I didn't know. And I just sat there. And then like a minute later, Mark Yaten, the timekeeper, went, which was my cue to make an announcement. So here is your winner. Was that one of the more memorable calls that you had? Yeah, for sure. That was, uh, and I always say it was one of my biggest post-match announcements that got the most minimal reaction because it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't everybody booing. It wasn't everybody cheering. It was just, huh? Like, mm. it was different. Mm -hmm. This was a different, huge announcement, different reaction. Hey, it's CVV, and thank you so much for checking out this video on my CVV Clips channel, where we take some of the most interesting snippets from our full interviews and put them here. If you haven't subscribed yet, take a second right now to do that so you don't miss out on anything.